Hello and welcome to the section of the TI-89 Calculator Tutor and here we're going to learn how to find the inflection points of a function using the graphing capabilities here in the math menu. Um, let me go ahead and plot a function and then we'll talk about what an inflection point is so you'll understand what we're trying to actually use the calculator to do. Let's go ahead and, and plot sine of x. That's the easiest function to visualize. So let's go in uh, there and just to make it look a little better let's select zoom trig number seven and watch it plot the uh, sine function. Notice that sine goes up and down and up and down and up and down. So we have lots of peaks and lots of valleys and it happens over and over again. Um, when we talk about functions that have peaks like this that are kind of um, kind of rounded like this we call this part of the function we call it concave downward. Uh, because it's concave and it kind of opens up facing down. The open part of the cave, so to speak, is facing down. So when you study calculus, you'll talk about concave down parts of functions. And this is an example, and other examples over here, where we're concave opening downward. This guy is what we call concave opening upward, or concave upwards, because it's concave and it's opening facing up. So here we have a concave downward part of the function followed by a concave upward part of the function. So the bottom line is this function changes from concave cave down and it eventually begins to change to concave upward. Somewhere between these two places, here in the middle somewhere, is where the function transition occurs. In other words, it's going in a certain direction and then it bends over and begins to change to curve in the other way this exact point between these two regions where this exact transition happens is what we call an inflection point inflection point you can kind of think of the word inflection usually we use it when we talk about our voice where uh, someone is talking with great inflection where their voice makes a change you know maybe a narrator of a book he, he might use a great inflection in his voice he might say something like the great sun sets below the horizon where he's changing his voice constantly right or he makes a nice point by changing the pitch of his voice well this inflection point is where this uh, curve begins to change its shape it's changing from concave downward to concave upward and right here in the middle is the exact point where it bends over and begins to move the other direction now in calculus the way you find these inflection points is by taking the second derivative of this function and setting it equal to zero. And uh, derivative is something you learn how to do pretty early on in calculus. You take two of those derivatives, set it equal to zero, and then solve that little equation. And you're going to find that this point happens right here. And there's another one here, and there's another one here.